Für die Wissenschaftler ist der neue Rostpilz UG99 eine Herausforderung. Er verändert sich schnell, verbreitet sich rasant und auch mit modernen Spritzmitteln kann man ihm dauerhaft nicht beikommen. Aber das muss man auch nicht. Der Weizen hat etliche solcher Begegnungen schon überstanden und im Laufe der Evolution seine eigenen Abwehrmechanismen entwickelt. Die liegen in den Genen. Und immer wenn ein neuer Schädling auftaucht, gibt es irgendwo auch ein Gen oder eine Kombination von Genen, die ihn in Schach halten. Diese Gene muss man nur finden. The advantage in, in the yield potential. And what I look is, is uh, first at the heads, and then look at the stems. If the stems are relatively clean, I select that one. You could see the variation in height. This is a bit tall, this is short. Even the very quickly, you might be able to see the, the length of this spike, the fertility, how many grains. So, so if I put, uh, let's say, Uh, this one from here and and put next to this one okay which one will you pick here you can find you know maybe there are three grains in one row here one two three four grains so oh. obviously it's going to give you much more yield than this one so I would not bother picking that one mm -hmm. when I have good ones here. So those ones which do not have tape, they will not be harvested. So the plants with tape are the good ones to advance to the next generation. This is a very nice plant, by the way, you know, and it was already selected as a blue tape, so I'm leaving it. Hunderte von Kreuzungen sichten die Züchter jedes Jahr. Tausende von Pflanzen. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Why? I enjoy it because at the university I did agriculture, so I'm proud of doing this. Yeah, and I love field work. I don't like sitting in the office. I don't like office work. I like field work. When you see among uh, dead plants um, uh, nice green plants, it gives you hope. That's what it is, you know, that something uh, better will come out of this. And I think that hope keeps you moving. I think most people here, They enjoy. The ant is there at least somehow resistant to the disease here. You can look at the stems, you can see the stems, they are clean. Yeah. There's less rust infection here. Every, every row here represents a cross and has a clear objective. We don't make crosses at random. So when I came here, look at it and, and internally or mentally say, uh, did it? Made it or not. And if it does, you know, you go in and select the best plant. Later on, I will come with the, with the book and mark those crosses that actually look, um, not, well, let me use the word beautiful, okay? Uh, although probably they, they are not, it depends who look at it. Some of them perform very well, highly resistant, and some of them probably don't reach the, the level of resistance we wanted. Zehn bis 15 Jahre dauert es normalerweise von den ersten Kreuzungen bis zur Zulassung einer neuen Weizensorte. Mit modernen Methoden wie molekularen Markern lässt sich die Zeit auf etwa sieben Jahre reduzieren. Aber im Wettlauf mit dem Pilz ist das immer noch eine lange Zeit und die Arbeit bleibt mühsam. really difficult, not only for the farmer, but also difficult for the breeder, because he has to start all over, concentrate in, in breed for one particular disease or one particular race in the case of UG99, and then he has to, to, to forget the other issues that are important in the breeding scheme. So no, no more breeding for yield potential, quality, adaptation, because he has to solve the number one problem at that time that is rust resistance. Nicht nur der Weizen, auch die Züchter müssen ihre Strategien immer neu anpassen. The fungus force has to, to, to focus on and breed for resistance. 
rather to look into to breathe for to increase the yield potential. Aber wie schafft der Pilz das? 